this is just where we are now. This is a country that were founded upon some of the principles that we see in the Bible. Not to say that all those that founded the country were actual Christians, were uh, God-loving, practicing believers. That's not what I'm saying. But it, we, can, we can at least go back and see that we find some of our laws found in the Scripture. Now think about this. In the 19th century, the Supreme Court actually had a ruling that it was treasonous to go against the Bible since this country was founded upon the Bible. Well, let's go back. Let's fast forward about 200 years, almost 20 years, about 150 years. And now what do we see? We see our own president who calls himself a Christian. He's not. Our president, Joseph Biden, has issued a proclamation declaration calling Easter Sunday, Resurrection Sunday. And I don't know if Easter, the term Easter offends you. It shouldn't. It doesn't mean. But if the term offends you, then certainly this will offend you. Hopefully it'll offend you. Possibly. We never know. But Joseph R. Biden, our president, the Christian president, as he says, we know better, has issued Resurrection Sunday as Transgender Day of Visibility. So let me go ahead and read this letter that he states and notice some ironic statements that he's making here. I'll put it on the screen for you to see. He says, now, therefore, I, Joseph R. Biden, Jr., President of the United States of America, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Constitution of the Laws of the United States, do hereby proclaim March 31st, 2024 as Transgender Day of Visibility. I call upon all Americans to join us in lifting up the lives and voices of transgender people throughout our nation and to work towards eliminating violence and discrimination on gender identity. In witness thereof, I have thereunto set my hands this 29th day, March, in the year of our Lord. It's kind of interesting. Now, Notice what he's saying. First of all, we've got some scriptures that tell us this is going to happen. And woe to Joe Biden. The Bible says, woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who substitute darkness for light and light for darkness, who substitute bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Some people think that this is actually a good thing. This is a horrible thing to do. But the Bible speaks of people like Joe Biden and these things are going to happen because he says, therefore, people like Joe Biden and his kind the Lord gave them over to in their lust of their minds to impurity so that their bodies would be dishonored among them. Now he's speaking obviously about this particular lifestyle. Now, what I want to go, where I want to go to and kind of tie this to Joe Biden, there's something in the Bible that speaks about Joe Biden in the same chapter. If we drop down just a little bit further, he says, and although they know the ordinance of God, again, he claims to be a Christian, he's got a Bible. I'm pretty sure maybe he's read some of these things. He's spoken out against these things in the past. So I'm sure he knows at least what the Bible teaches about this. And it says that, and although they know the ordinance of God, that those who practice such things are worthy of death. Here it is for Joe. And they not only do the same, but also give hearty approval to those who practice them. Now, he's asking us to join. Let's read it again for Americans to join in lifting up the lives and voices of transgender people. Nope, not going to do it. We'll never do it. Ever in a million, we're not going to do that. We're not going to go against what the Bible teaches and to do something that is so offensive and an affront to God. No, but this is where we are. So cancel Easter, cancel resurrection, and he knows what this is. If he doesn't, shame on him. Another reason why he should not be a president of this country to do this on that day. You wouldn't do this on any day uh, that is favorable to any other religion. You wouldn't do it on maybe like not even Rosh Hashanah. You wouldn't do it on during a Ramadan. You wouldn't do these things to to hurt or to bother or to anger any other religious group but Christians because that's just how we are treated. We are not welcomed even in our own country by certain leaders of our country. But again, I would say vote them out. I would say send a clear message. Doubtful they will, doubtful that those who call themselves Christians will because many of those who call themselves Christians don't care about this kind of stuff. The same reason that those who call themselves Christians don't care about abortion. They don't call. They don't care for the LGB movement and so forth. They don't care about that stuff. All they care about is possibly someone doing something for them. But I can promise you this. I can promise you this. If you call good evil, or if you call evil good, woe unto you. Amen.